It's a very weird town. No one who comes in gets out alive. Whenever night falls, the demons would try to find food by any means possible. Jim's family was out on a trip and straight into the town. No matter how far they go, they'll end up back where they started. Did we turn somewhere? No, it just... This is getting really creepy. They see a woman in white. Jim asks her about the exit from the town. The woman listened and turned around and didn't say a word. Jim wondered why everyone in the town was so strange. He had to keep looking. Maybe it was a wrong turn somewhere. His wife suddenly thought of a ghostly wall. Jim was an engineer. He didn't believe the rumors. His wife told Jim, since we're not going anywhere, let's turn around and give it a try. The more Jim listened, the more impatient he became. He's really got a long head of steam. But the next thing he knew, it was a slap in the face. They were back where they started. Jim took his wife's advice. He he decided to drive back. The villagers had been watching the car go round and round. The sheriff decided to take action. He told his assistant Jack to get a roadblock and stop the car. Jim had an accident on the way back. He fell off the road to avoid the car in front of him. The driver of the car that came down was clearly on drugs. In a daze, he realized there had been an accident. Here the sheriff and his assistant are planting a roadblock. The driver of the car rushes over to get help. It's been an accident. What? It's really bad. It's the sheriff told Jack to take him to hospital. He went to the village to call for help. When they arrived at the hospital, the doctor saw that there was nothing serious, so he asked the nurse to help him. The boy's death was imminent. The doctor took the case and left the hospital with Jack. They followed the sheriff to the scene of the incident. The man in the car was locked up by the sheriff. On examination there were no injuries, just a bit too much medicine. He actually saw the old man as a beautiful woman. Oh my god, you're all so beautiful. Jim and his family were rescued, but the youngest son had a broken leg. Time was of the essence. It would take at least an hour to remove the rebar, and it was only 40 minutes before dark. That's 10 minutes. That's enough time for the demon to take them all out. The sheriff had an unexpected idea. He took a stone from his pocket and hung it in the house. It would keep the demon away. But out in the open, there's no guarantee. They had to take a chance. Night was approaching. The sheriff hangs the stone under the car. Jim is puzzled. He didn't know this was hell on earth. He wouldn't have believed him if he'd been told. Jack's wheel was punctured on the way back to the village. Time was running out. It was impossible to make it to town. They had to go to a nearby group home for shelter. Jack pulls the mother and daughter out of the car. The mother and daughter are confused by them. The sheriff and the caravan also heard the screams outside. 